Okay, dude, this is the page that you see when you log in. This is called your dashboard. Over here on the left-hand side, we are going to go to products. And then we're going to go to uh, products again, I think. Let's see if this works. There is a certain amount of hunting and pecking that goes around, goes on when you're doing this kind of thing. Okay, so we've got three items. I think that's what uh, what we loaded up. Three items in here. Um, you're going to enter in your new product name here. This is all there is to it. So you're going to enter in new product name, whatever that's going to be. You know your, uh, you know we've got a. X mark clutch or whatever it is. Okay. Now you're going to enter in whatever your SKU is. Okay. This is going to be your personal, you know, whatever your books are using, whatever you're using in your books for um, stock keeping unit number. Okay. In this column, this is, this should actually be list price. So let's say the list price is $4.99. But the price that you're selling it for is three twenty-five. Okay. Down here, you're going to enter a description, and this is the description that's going to show up um, without them having to click on anything. Okay. So this is going to be like the primary details of what your uh, what your item is. The additional description is going to be on a little tab. So on the sales page, it's going to uh, give them a little button to uh, to click on that shows them more details. Okay, maybe you're going to put in your um, other uh, uh, equipment, um, you know, numbers or something. Uh, you know, let's say you can get this part from, um, uh, you know, George's supply or whatever. This is a now that's not a, that's not really not a good example. Let's say that let's say you can buy this thing. You're buying it from this guy over here in town, but they've also got uh, a part number that you know comes from Stegden or something. You know, and Stegden's part number is four five dash. You know such and such okay because when they drop that down it'll show those additional those additional part numbers this is also good for the SEO for the search engine optimization because the search engines will see this kind of thing okay so the first one is what you want them to see right away that's this kind of stuff and then I'll flip over here in a second once we create this and you'll see how this how this shows <coughs> this is where you can mark what this is okay obviously most of what you're selling right now I guess is PTO clutches but if you want to add another one you just type it in here you know make your new your new product tag and then once you add it it's going to show up over here we put in Cub Cadet you can delete these or do whatever you want I'll show you how to do that in a second that's over in categories um, price and stock control uh, you know, you can do not add tax or, you know, donation, obviously that doesn't then, but basically you're going to be, if you're shipping to Illinois, you're going to be charging six and a half percent, right? When you add in your products, you can put in a weight. So let's say this thing weighs two and a half pounds. You can also put in shipping fees here um, if you want it to calculate. And this will actually connect with either your USPS account if you have one or you want to create one and you can enter in your username and your password for that USPS account and it will automatically calculate that for you now I think for the most part you're drop shipping so you might want to have some uh, some uh, uh, you know, UPS fees or flat fees or however you're gonna handle that but that's but you can do it by weight now, if you're going to use UPS as an option, and you want this thing to calculate those UPS charges and tell the customer what it's going to be, of course you have to have a um, uh, point of origin where it's going to ship from, because I think most of your stuff is being drop shipped. But you want to, um, uh, 
you just plug it into UPS. You don't have to have, well, I guess what I wanted to say is UPS, to use the UPS calculator built within this thing, you, uh, you don't have to have it set up to access your UPS account. It just does it. Um, variation set, I don't really know what this is. Let's find out. Click on that. Probably has something to do with some additional variation values or something. You know, stuff like this you can just kind of play with as you go along. <clears throat> and now I've got a window open that I can't close. That's nice. There we go. Okay. Uh, advanced options. Um, again, you just have to play around with this. If you have, you know, certain merchant notices or something that you need to uh, have attached to that item, you can put them here. Um, okay, let's see. Um, users can personalize this product. Okay, I don't think they're going to be engraving their name on any PTO clutches. Um, Offsite product link. Okay, you can use an offsite product link. So if you have a link for a product, for instance, from another site. Now, I don't recommend doing this because if they change their links, your your pictures are going to be broken. So what you're doing is you're downloading those pictures, and uh, and then you're uploading them. And uh, you can do that here. You just click on select file. You browse to your desktop, find the JPEG or the PNG file and then just upload it. Um, <clears throat> this you're not using right now. This is in the event you're selling a download. Let's say you've got a, uh, a manual for something and uh, you want to make it available to the customer. Um, either you're charging for it as a download or you're giving it away for free. This is where you would upload that information. Uh, it works the same way. You just browse you know, you upload the file, and then they would get a download link after they purchase, and then they'd be able to download that file. Okay, so let's add this product. And I did not select the product category. So let's go down here and let's select a product category. And the only place to save this record is all the way down here at the bottom and it's add product. It's always add product even if you're making changes to the record. So if you're looking for another button that says update, uh, we couldn't find one. <coughs> okay, so now we've got this product updated. So let's take a look here. Go up here to visit site and let's open it up and take a look. And it's going to be on the products page. Now it says edit this because I'm logged in. Okay, People just coming to your site will not see edit this. Let's scroll down here a little ways and there is our, there's the one that we just added. Okay, There's the description primary details that I typed in and then this is the little link you can put in more details and that's the information that I typed in there. So if you can go through and load up that um, over the weekend, I think we're going to finish this checkout thing. Um, I think we had some issues with connecting it to uh, PayPal or something. Um, so we have to figure that out. And uh, But uh, that'll at least get your products going and you can load those up and figure out where you want to put various stock numbers and SKUs and how you want to track all that stuff. Okay, have fun. Catch you later.